Hey guys! Hi! I'm Hannah. I'm Brandy. And you're listening to Not, Not So, so Serious, Serious Podcast. Um, Welcome back! If the lighting is weird, it's because I forgot my ring light. <laughs> also, my ring light is broken and it, it barely works anyways, but I literally can't afford to get another one. We literally, like one of the legs is broken on it and we have to like prop it up <laughs> on something. Yeah. I mean, and the light works. Yeah. But we're one ring light short today, and plus, it's still daylight outside, which I think is kind of weird, because normally when we film, it's dark, you know, the time change, so we're getting more daylight, which I'm not mad about. I'm glad. No, I'm not days. mad about it, but listen, just for me to be here, it was a lot. I had a lot going on, okay? So, we're, that I'm here, and that I look decent. I've had a lot going on, <laughs> and I'm, I got a lot to say today, and we're going to get into it. But me and Brandy are starting a new segment <laughs> on the podcast, and it's called The New Word of the Week, or whenever we decide to film. The New Word. So, Anna I s- said this word earlier, and I said, what is that? <laughs> I know this I word. I said, that's a smart people word. <laughs> you don't supposed to know that. I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I was setting up the camera, right? And I was like... Sometimes this thing's finicky. And she was like, finicky? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, what is what is that? That's a big word. That's a smart word. Where did you hear that? Where did you hear that? And I was like, I, I don't I just know the word. So the word of the week is finicky. <laughs> and the definition of it is showing or requiring great attention to detail. Or fussy about one's needs or requirements. Like a finicky eater. So I was saying that the, the light was being finicky. So Does that make sense? Yeah. It required special attention. I think I'm finicky. <laughs> um, look up finicky in the dictionary. And my picture's next to it. Welcome back. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Absolutely. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Um, I know it's been a little minute since we filmed an episode, so I'm really excited about this episode today. I have a lot on my mind today. Normally, Brandy's the one with all of like the ideas, but I've just got so much packed in my brain today that... It's crazy. Um, so, uh, some things have happened since last time you saw us. So, get, buckle up, honey. Get ready. But, anyways, we're also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. If you guys prefer to listen, uh, we're on there. Rate us five stars on Spotify. And like Brandy said, please subscribe and like. It's free. It takes one second to do that. So, that would totally make our day, week, totally. month, year. So, uh, please do that. Um, also... In my TikTok bio and the Instagram bio, there's a link tree. And it has the links to literally everything. Everything. And I also wanted to say that I added a link in there. So, you know, me and Dee are building a home. Um, if you don't know that, we're building a home. But I've talked about it in since this new season started. And I actually put our registry for Amazon, our Amazon housewarming registry in there. So, if you guys want to check that out or be so gracious to gift us something. The stuff on there is not expensive, I promise. I'm not, like, bougie like that. But, um, if you guys wanted to check that out, that would be amazing. Don't feel obligated to, but I just wanted to say that it's in there if you guys wanted to check it out. And also, I now have an Amazon storefront. I'll also be putting that in the link tree, and I'm going to add some stuff to that because when I go live on TikTok, which I went live today, did a get ready with me, um, I talk about some of the products that I use and they're like, Oh, where'd you get that? And I'm like, oh, I got it on Amazon, which had a storefront when well, I do. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm going to be posting stuff in the storefront, stuff that I use every day, stuff that I like and stuff that I may talk about on here. And also like home stuff that me and Dee's going to like use for the house. Show me how to do that. Cause I want to make one. Okay. I'm going to show Brandy how to do it too. My brain just kind of, you know, like how you just say one thing and then it you think about something else in your head, and then it goes to something else, and then you just got kind of a story. Yeah. You were talking about how you were going live, and you were getting ready. Mm-hmm. I seen this girl get ready with me the other day, and, like, it, <laughs> she called me poor in so many ways. Like, she just opened up, like, her skincare stuff, like, gotta be, like, $500 worth of skincare, and then, like, her oh, makeup wow. drawers, and then, like, she was getting ready, and she grabbed her d- designer luggage, like, all themed, and I was like... She, she was doing get ready for me to go to the airport. Oh. And I, 
I was like, I don't get ready to go to the airport. I've never been on a plane because I'm poor. <laughs> but I was like, dang. What I would do. Like, yeah. I've only been on a plane twice. So, and it was to where I was going and on the way back home. <laughs> and so, it was a special occasion. It, it was your honeymoon. my honeymoon, yeah. Uh, we went to another country, but I ain't going to get into that. But yeah, I, so when I went to the airport, we had to be there so daggone early. I, I'm getting ready but for that. But she was like skincare and makeup and she just put on some cute sweats and got her designer luggage and her uh, designer shoes. That must be nice. And I was just like, oh, I hate you. I just need money for necessities, bro. <laughs> right. Facts. They don't gotta be designer. It's right. Need something. I, I had literally, these pants since about seventh grade. I literally felt like, because I finally announced on my Facebook that Mandy were building the home. You probably saw the post or whatever. And I wrote this little long thing. You didn't see it? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but, um... I wrote this little long thing, and I told Dee, I was like, I'm going to put our registry on there, but I don't want to seem like I'm begging, but I'm begging. Like, I, b- please help. <laughs> and I wrote, like, this cute, long little thing, and then I put the registry, and I, like, pinned it to, like, the top of my profile or whatever. And I was like, how do you say we need help without saying we need help? And Dee was like, don't be a beggar. And I was like, I'm sorry. Sorry, but I, we're poor, and we need things. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, check it out. It's in the link tree. <laughs> um, anything would be appreciated. Even like, there's like a fund on there. And even if you donated like a dollar, anything, I, I appreciate anything. Cause it's a long process and my life's been going on the toilet lately, which well, I'm going to talk about. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I need a direction in life and I also need money. I'm trying to move out of the state or the country. Period. I'm like so serious. I want to move away from here so bad. I hate this place. I'm stuck. Like, I was literally so depressed the other night. I was like, I hate this freaking town. You know, this town I hate my life. Yeah. There's nothing to do. Well, I'm stuck because we're building our forever home here. So, yeah, I'm I'm stuck. I mean, at least you have a future. Yeah, I guess. You have things to look forward to. And my mom has a beach house that I can go to. And you can go to. You act like you can't go. You can go. I was looking up. Dude, I was about the last week. For real. Like, I was looking up places to stay. Mm-hmm. Like, anywhere. Like, I was looking in Georgia. I was looking, um, like, in North Carolina, South Carolina. I was trying to go to a beach. Mm-hmm. And I was going to go by myself. Because nobody would go to me. Like, I said, I need to get out of this place so bad. <laughs> I was looking up places to go. And I was just going to go by myself. Well, we got a trip coming up in May. Yeah, no, that's too far. Like, I was so freaking depressed. I just want to get out of here so bad. But I couldn't find anything cheap enough for well, me to go on my own. Literally, I was Tom, looking. this year is flying by for me. Do you know this week is supposed to be in the 80s? Yeah, I saw that. This weather is so bipolar. It is it's so winter. bipolar. It's winter outside today. It's it winter today. <laughs> this weekend, gonna be it's going to be summer. Uh, that's the south for you, but yeah. I'm looking forward to the warmer weather, though. I'm really over the cold. But we're in that weird, like, March, April is so weird in the south because mm-hmm. it's like one day, like you said, it's winter. Then it's summer. And then it's winter. And then people stay sick because, like, I'm yeah, I'm sick right now. I've been taking my allergy medicine. But, no, I've been trying to buy clothes for our trip. Yeah. And I don't know what to buy. I don't know what to buy either. I have a bunch of stuff in my cart, but I don't know what the weather is going to be. See, my my husband got me some. So, my husband's like a shoe guy. <gasps> and he has all these nice shoes, like the Jordan. I don't know what the shoes. The Jordans and, like, the Nike, the Air Maxes or the whatever. The expensive things. I the, don't know. The expensive shoes. Um, he's so particular about his shoes. When we go on a vacation, he brings all his boxes. The boxes. His, the boxes and the shoes have to be in their in boxes. In the box. It takes up so much space. In the trunk. In the trunk. D, we're talking to you <laughs> right now. I know you're listening. We know that you know you're how much listening. trunk space we could have. <laughs> we didn't and he, had, your shoes. he won't put them in the suitcase. No. Oh, he has Yeezys. And the Yeezys aren't coming out of the box. You forget it. The Yeezys. They will come out of the box when he puts them on his feet, and then as soon as he takes them off, they're going back in the box. Which I may not get it. Like you spend a lot of money for you shoes, take care of them. and you want to take care but of. But like they're going to crease, bro. The- Are you watching how you walk? Every and second? one of them is like suede, and he if it rains, he won't. He can't wear them. Yeah. So 
if there's even a 20% chance of her, and he's like, oh, I can't wear my suede Jordans, whatever the heck it is. One time, you remember when we played that prank on him? Where he left those shoes at the apartment. And I said, oh, they were oh, yeah. dirty. And I washed them in the sink for you. And I acted like I didn't know they couldn't get wet. Well, I knew they couldn't get wet. They were suede. But I was like, yeah, these blue and yellow shoes that you left, they were dirty. So I just thought I'd do something nice for you. And I washed them in the sink. Bro, he come unglued. He was like, you can't get those wet. They're suede. They're suede. You can't get them wet. And I just, I was like, bro, I'm kidding. But he, bro, he was so tore up. It was funny though. Me yeah, and Brandy were cracking up. I was like, I did not wash your suede shoes. I'm not that stupid. And I'm kind of insulted that you think I'm that dumb. But anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. The ADD. Um, uh, yeah. For Christmas, they got me my first pair of cool shoes. I got some Nike Dunks for Christmas. And they're like blushed pink and white. And I love them. But I haven't got to wear them yet because I don't really have nothing to match them. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I want to take those to Mystic Falls. Because, you know, when you go on the tour, you have to wear, like, flat shoes. And I was like, I'd love to wear those the day we go on the tour and get, like, a little shirt to match. But I don't, mm -hmm. do I get a sweater? Do I get a blouse? Do I, what, do I get a tank top? Like, what do, yeah. I, what do I get? I don't know. I don't know. In May, I assume it would be warmer. I feel like it'll be warmer during the day and a little chilly at night. Yeah. I feel like. So, maybe a light jacket. I have discovered a beautiful thing that I'm now addicted to. Oh. It's so addicting. If you don't know, I get addicted to things really quickly. Yes. And, and it's a good thing I don't do drugs because I'd probably be dead. Um, <laughs> it's the hyper fixating. Yeah, like I get, when I find something I like, I get like obsessed with it. I found this thing. It's wonderful. It's. I feel like you're about to talk to me about joining some cult or something. It is a cult. <laughs> you said now. <laughs> it's wonderful. It I'm is a cult. Run. It's a cult. Okay. And I'm in it. Um, <laughs> it is. I don't know if they have it everywhere. And I'm the leader. <laughs> I'm the leader. I'm the president. <laughs> I don't know if they have this everywhere, but it's called MacBid. And it's an online auction app. I'm so confused. It's the greatest thing. So, it's an auction. Like, you, you know, you go to the auctions yeah. and you bid, uh, da, 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 I bid $50, whatever. It's like that, but you don't have to go anywhere. It's online. Okay? And you go on there, and they have stuff that's, like, like new, or the box has been opened, or some stuff is, like, damaged. People buy it for, like, a dollar or whatever. They got an app? Yeah. I'm telling you, Brandy, you'll never be able to stop. <laughs> have you bought these? <laughs> you have money. I've already been four times. Four. I went four times. And I went today and yesterday. You went. Like you Okay, look, okay, let me explain. Let me explain. So they can... better be paying us or something. So, Good Lord. I know. So you get on the app. And it's an auction, and it'll tell you, like, it's got so many days, hours, whatever left for you to bid on it, right? I'll show you the app on my phone if you want to download it. But it's, I would recommend, I learned my lesson that you get like new things. Don't get open box. Don't get, obviously, it'll say it's damaged if it's damaged. But, like, the like new is, like, people who ordered stuff but, like, didn't want it. So, they sent it back, and it just ended up going to, like, this auction place. Now, they're selling it for really cheap. Mm-hmm. So, D showed it to me, and he should have knew better, because he, I love shopping, especially online. I, I love it, and I have a, pro a problem. So, you get on there, and it'll, you can, like, search things, too, but it's best to get on, like, the, today's deals, and then you can filter it. You click the location, and like new, and you can filter everything, and it'll only show you like new stuff, and then the location that you want to pick it up from. So you've been, you have to drive there to go get it? Yeah. That's stupid. Why don't they send it to you? It's, it's fun though. It, the, the place is fun that you go and they send you like, when you, when you buy stuff, they send you a little email with a barcode on it and then you go in and they scan it and they go, okay, go find it. It's, it's like a treasure hunt. So not only 
did they not send it to your door? You got to go find it. It's fun. It's like a scavenger hunt. So you go on the app and what you want, it'll show you what aisle it's, it shows you what aisle it's on. There's like little like A, B, C, D, like aisles. It'll say it's on, like a lot of it'll work. be like row H, this, and then it'll say this is the serial number on the box. And that's, <laughs> and that's what you have to look for. D took me, I, I ordered something and I'll just give you an example. So when we move, Lola's going to need a new litter box because she, you know how long she's had that one we've since yeah. ash was there and like it, it's super old and it's starting to when it i have a self-cleaning best investment ever by the way um worth the money but now it's getting to where it scrapes it goes like it's starting to make noise but it's really old so i was like when we move i'm gonna get her in a nicer litter box well, i was looking at the litter row box i don't see how anybody affords that i'm sure it's a great investment but i can't pay that much money at one time mm -hmm. hell i can't even after pay that so I found after pay be getting me because I'm like bro twenty five dollars just twenty five dollars a week for like girl weeks. math like only I'm only paying twenty five dollars for it yeah girl math that's it Dee's probably like oh my god <laughs> he's rolling his eyes but I found a self cleaning litter box on there and when you go to the the thing you pull it up it has a link where you can search the product on Amazon mm -hmm. so I went I went to Amazon and I, it had really good reviews on it and the price on Amazon was like four hundred dollars, like four. It was almost five hundred dollars. Like it was expensive, and I was like, okay. And you can like star it so you can watch it, and you can set a reminder like, oh, it's got five minutes till it closes or whatever, and you bid on it. You put your credit card number in there and you bid on it. The bidding war is the funnest part when you're fighting with somebody over something. I'm I like my heart be I'm like, oh, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Like. <laughs> it's so fun and i know they're probably like what the, what the hell is she talking about she was gonna need one anyways yeah i was gonna have to after pay it if i could even do that when we moved and now i have it and i don't have to worry about it i came home plugged it in ran it through a cycle it works just it works perfectly it's never even been out of the plastic Dang. it's never been used it smells new i got a living room rug off of there i got um you know the shark um vacuums mm -hmm. i got one of those cheap dang cheap girl uh, you know that was one of the things it, i've been going to the online auctions i've been going to the online, online auctions, auctions. <laughs> and i'm obsessed <laughs> and now i don't have any more money so i gotta wait till i get paid again to get back on there i won't even i won't even open the app because i don't want to get tempted oh my god but i got but I got stuff we needed for the house. Like, I haven't bought anything that's been, like, something I just wanted. Like, everything that I've bought has been for the home. So, like, I'm not wasting my money. Like, it's stuff that we would have had to eventually buy anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Dang. And it's cheap. You like, to look, up, look it up. Like, stuff I was getting, I got, like, $130 off of stuff. Like, I mean, dirt cheap. I got a blender for $6. And it's a nice blender. And I plugged it in, and it works. And... That thing was meh, like it was so fast. And it was a nice blender. And I got it for six dollars. And it was like fifty bucks on Amazon. Dang. So yeah, check out the online auctions. So I was talking to uh, my manager at work, and there's this thing that we found where you can buy like a little plot. Have you seen that thing where you can buy like a little plot of land in Scotland? Like it's just enough for you to like stand on. Like it's barely anything. Oh. But when you buy it, you can become like a lord or a lady and you get like a certificate what i've never heard of that i'm looking into it for real oh my god that's kind of cool when i was going around work you have to dress me as lady <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you get like a little spot and you're like you can become like a lady <laughs> what yeah but then that's like something that i would do yes it does i said i'm gonna wear start wearing my crown y'all gonna have to bow to me when i come into work it was like a whole thing we we were going on. Oh, um, I had something else I wanted to say. Okay, so do you like you know all I do is freaking scroll on TikTok. I can't get nothing done because of TikTok. I will sit there for two hours and not nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like the time just goes by, but like I see all these girls on there and like why do they? Why does their skin always look perfect? They won't have on any makeup, and they'll just be talking. Well, do they have the beauty filter on? 
I mean, I have the beauty filter on, but I don't do <laughs> Do they have a filter? Uh, no, like they don't have a filter that's shown. Oh. But you know how people can just get on there and just talk? Mm-hmm. I can't do that. Like on TikTok? Yes, like just make a video and just be talking and like it just sounds natural. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. I guess it's different with the podcast. It is different. Yeah. Like when you're, because I can get on here and when you're talk. like alone, you just can't pull up. You're like, so I'm gonna do this. Like, yeah. I feel, like everybody just sounds so natural and like put together, and I'm like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I went on live today, nobody was watching me, and I was just talking. Like I got on this just spree of me just, and I I talked for like 45 minutes and didn't stop. And mm-hmm. I think maybe two people saw it. I was talking to myself. I go I live sometimes on TikTok. But. but, like, I just can't TikTok. Like, I go to, like, talk. I cannot TikTok. Like, if I want to talk about something, like, I just sound so awkward and yeah. shy and weird. And I'm like, how do these people just sound normal? You, you get what I mean? Like, you like you just say, yeah. you don't sound like yourself. Yeah. Like, I can sit here and do this, but, like, I can't. I feel like that sometimes. Like, you know? I feel like if I'm making a video... I'm like that. But if I'm doing like a vlog or if I'm doing the podcast or if I'm going live, I can talk. But if I'm like planning to do a video mm-hmm. by myself, I, I feel that. I like feel you just feel like you feel like you sound stupid. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, they don't sound stupid, but I try to do it and I sound like, I think so you, awkward. you just like getting your head. I don't know. Maybe it's a me thing. No, it's a me thing too. I mean, I don't know. I don't, but I get what you're saying. I, I don't have. How do y'all get the confidence to do, just do that? Well, I mean, a I lot of those know. people are influencers, and they do that for their job. How? I don't know. I mean, we need to learn. Yeah. <laughs> We've only been doing this podcast for two years. We need to learn yeah. how to talk. I we like missed I can, our two-year I anniversary. I form it or in sentence. Like, I have to think so hard about what I say. Yeah. We uh, we missed our two year podcast anniversary, oh, which granted we did take like a nine month break. So is it really two years? Kind of, but no. But yeah, we've been on the internet for two years with this podcast all together. We missed it. We didn't even have a cake or anything like we did last time. We got red carpet ready and had a cake and everything. It's no, fine. I guess after your second year, it's kind of less <laughs> exciting, especially when nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> so if you missed our last episode we talked about love is blonde and we did the whole recap of season six if you haven't watched it go watch it but we did that and there was something i was gonna say in that episode and then after the episode was over i looked at brandy and i was like oh my god i forgot the best part of the episode and she was like oh dang we'll just talk about it next time and i even put in the description like I have something else to say, and I just forgot to say it because we were literally filming at, like, midnight, and yeah. our brains were not working that well. But we were talking about the reunion, mostly, and you know how they brought the OGs and, like, the alumni from past seasons into the reunion? That was, like, the first time they've ever done that. Mm-hmm. Well, I had a little run-in with one of the Love is Blind past contestants. Not in person, but uh, on online. And he was at the reunion. And I saw him and I was like, hmm. Okay. But I'm going to spill some tea. I don't know if you're ready for it. I think I'm hyping it up to more than what it's going to be. It might be yeah. underwhelming. But it's fine. when me and Dee went on the cruise last year, you know, we went to Honduras. And I... Uh, Posted a picture, and it was of me in, like, my bathing suit on the beach in Honduras. And I can't remember what the darn caption said. And I'm going to put the receipts in here. I have receipts, and I'm going to post them. Uh, and it was just, like, three pictures of me, like, on the beach in Honduras. And Izzy liked my picture from Love is Blonde. And I was like, because, you know, when people like your picture and you see the blue check mark, you're like, hmm. Like, <laughs> you know, so I was like, oh, my God, that's Izzy from Love is Blonde. And I didn't really think nothing about it. Well, then he started liking multiple of my photos, like old photos. Like he was on my profile 
and was liking my photos. And mind you, I don't follow him mm-hmm. on Instagram at all. So I'm like, how did he find me? Like, I don't have anything related to Love is Blind on my Instagram. Nothing. So I was like, how did, how did this dude find my Instagram? I don't know if, like, because I watched Perfect Match and him and Carousel had posted a picture and I follow her. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if maybe, like, I liked it or something. And he's, I, I, I honestly don't know. But he went through liking a bunch of my pictures. While well, I was telling Dee about it, and I was like, Dee, like, because he had watched that season of Love is Blind, and I was like, bro, listen to this. <laughs> so I was telling Dee about it, I was like, he, like, liked a bunch of my pictures on Instagram. And he was like, oh, okay, well, that's funny. And he wasn't, like, mad, but he was kind of like, I don't really care for that, you know? And it, the pictures he was liking was me, like, on the beach or in my bathing suit or like cute pictures of me like yeah you know and it was like bathing suit pictures and stuff he was liking and d he had ended up posting a picture or something and d commented under the picture the clown emoji (laughs) and i was like oh my god i was like the drama and d was like that's all i wanted to do like he's a clown whatever because we didn't like him on love is blonde yeah but then he had posted a picture or something and D tagged me in the photo. Like D- he didn't, what do you call it? Like he commented and mentioned me in the comment. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, that picture, there was multiple people from like perfect match. Love is blonde. Like in the photo, like there were multiple people tagged in the photo and it was something going on with one of the shows. And like I said, this was like a while back. This happened. And all D did was tag me in the, or mention me in the comment. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Izzy just went off on D. Like, I don't even remember what he said. And all of it's gone now. He deleted all his comments. And I wish I would have screenshotted them then. But they were, he was like, duh, 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 you broke Emmer Effer. And, duh, 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 duh. and I was like, what? So Izzy is a clown. And I don't know how he found my Instagram. And I don't. I don't know. I'm a nobody. I don't have a lot of followers on Instagram. I don't really even post on Instagram unless, like, I went somewhere or something happened or, Mm -hmm. but, yeah. And then he went and, like, you know, he deleted all the comments eventually before we could, like, screenshot them. And uh, now that I go back to my photos... It's only showing, like, one photo he liked. So, I guess he went and unliked my photos, but forgot one. But the one that he did like, I went and screen recorded it on my phone, and I'm going to insert it now. And there's the receipts. I don't even understand, like, what is he doing? It's confusing. (laughs) I'm just confused on how he found me in the first place. Well, and he might have, like, hashtagged, like, where you were, and he was looking under that hashtag. I maybe, because I went on that cruise. Yeah. Maybe so. I don't know. But Dee was like, this dude's a clown. And I'm going to go on his Instagram and comment the clown emoji under his picture. And he never said anything to that. But then when he mentioned me in the comment, he, like, went off. What was the photo about? It was pictures of him with people from Perfect Match and Love is Blonde. And they mentioned me in it because he knows that I, I watch those shows. Mm-hmm. And I think it was somebody who was together that went together on the show. It was something like that. And he wanted me to see it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I triggered him. And it wasn't even, he wasn't even the point of the, what we were wanting to see. Yeah. He was just in the photo and tagged in it. I'm like, you know how many people comment on those things? It's, he was getting a lot of hate back then, though, with him and the whole Stacy thing. Mm-hmm. Like, he was getting a lot of hate online, and I, I guess he was triggered. Well, yeah, that's my story about Izzy from Love's Blonde that I forgot to tell last time. That's funny. Something happened this past weekend that probably took 10 years off my life, and um, it, it it was horrible. Um, So... My husband works night shift, as I've said before. He works at a hospital. And he was leaving to go to work. And he left like any normal day. He would leave, whatever. And he had been gone about 15 minutes. 
and Noah's mother called me and I mean well like we're on good terms like we're, we're cool I guess and but normally she doesn't call me unless it's like something to do with Noah or like she's like hey Noah left something here yeah I'm gonna come pick it up I'm just like you know I'm coming blah 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 so she called me and I answered it and she was like where is D and I was like he's on his way to work and she was like but where is he and I'm like he's on his way to work like he left about 15 minutes ago like what's going on and she was like he's been in a wreck you you your mind automatically goes to the worst thing Mm -hmm. like i can't even think like what if he's okay like my mind just goes straight to like something something bad he's dead like like, like, no but like that that's what your mind goes to and and I, i had my laptop in my lap i was looking on my laptop and I just threw my whole freaking MacBook in the floor. I had on my Moo I have nothing on but my Moo And I was, I didn't even know where he was. And like, I am just threw my laptop on the floor. I threw my blankets off. And I'm running in the room, like putting clothes on. I don't got no underwear, no bra on, no nothing. I barely even got shoes on. And um, she was like, do you have his location? And I was like, yes. And then I look at his location and my heart sank because he was on the highway. And he normally doesn't take the highway to to work unless he's running late. And he was running a little late that day, leaving. And the highway near where we live is so dangerous. Like, it's a death trap. Like, people literally die on it every day. And my, my mind is automatically like, oh, my God. Like, something's bad wrong. And I'm, you know how, like, you want to cry but tears don't come out? Like, yeah. that's how I felt. Like, my voice was shaking and, like, but I, no tears were coming out. But I was like like having a panic attack like I was like scared so I got I get in my car and I don't even know where I'm going like you know how you can see somebody's location and you're like go here Mm -hmm. that's what I did well then my sister-in-law called me and she was like hey you know did she call you and tell you and I was like yeah she said okay she called us too like we're, we're gonna try to get there we're on the way and I was like yeah I'm on the way and um but when she called me she said, I think he's, I think he's okay. She said, we were talking about Noah's baseball uh, tournament that's coming up. And all I heard was a loud boom. And I heard him say, my car, my car, my car. And he's like, I got to go. I got to call 911. Mm-hmm. That's still scary. Like, I know the fact that he's speaking is, is a good sign, but like, that's still scary. So, yeah, I get on the phone with my sister-in-law and she was like, he's on the highway. I don't know how we're going to get to him because they're obviously going to stop traffic and Mm -hmm. I don't know how we're going to get to him and I said well maybe we can just get on that side road because on that little frontage road you can see the highway from the road so I was like I'm just going to go there and try to get there I don't know well I don't drive on the highway because I have driving anxiety and I'm really scared and about the time that I'm on the way D calls me and he's sobbing I mean, he is boo-hooing. Oh, shit. And, it, oh, my God. It scared me to death. And I was like, are you okay? Like, are you okay? And I'm I'm sh- shaking. And he was like, my car, my car, my car's effed up. My car's effed up. My car's done. Da, 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 da. And I was like, I don't give a shit about that car. Are you okay? He was like, I'm fine. But my car, I said, are you okay? Like, are, are you hurt? Are you injured? How, how do you feel? And he was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. And so well, I'm trying to get to you. I'm on the way. And, um, he was like, well, the, the cops are here. And he's like, I got to go. I'm going to talk to the cops. And I was like, okay. So I get there and I don't even know where I'm going. Like I've got it in my GPS, but like, I can't even focus. I can't even look at it. Like I'm just driving and I, I don't even know where I'm going. Like, mm-hmm my mind was just so messed up and that it scared me so bad. Like you just think the worst. And I was like, what am I going to do? If something's happened. Like, what am I going to, what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. And, but I ended up, they ended up getting to him on the highway somehow. Um, I guess they got in the emergency lane and ended up getting there or whatever. Um, but D called me back and he was like, don't get on the highway. It's messy over here. He was like, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to wreck. I don't, you know, he was like, just go on that little side road and, and wait there. 
he was like, they're down here with me. I was like, well, I'm coming because I have to lay eyes on you. Like, I need to, I need to see you and, and know that physically that you're okay. Well, I got there. And when I got there, he was standing outside the car. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, he's fine. Like, you know, and I could breathe a little bit. And then I looked at his car. And I was like, oh, no. Mind you, we just paid this car off three weeks ago. And I was like, there's it's it's done mm-hmm. like it and then once i knew he was okay then the thoughts started running in like oh my god our insurance is gonna go up oh my god he doesn't have a car um we just got rid of this car payment and now we don't have a car and what are we gonna do and then i just then i start sobbing and i'm in the car by myself and i'm like oh my god what are we gonna do like we're building this house we already don't have any money and now we don't have a car and i'm just literally in the car by myself just sobbing i call my boss and i'm like I don't think I'm coming into work tomorrow. And I'm like, but he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, are you okay? What's going on? And I was like, my husband got in a wreck and I, he does, his car is it's done and and he's okay, but I, I don't know what we're going to do. And I, I don't think I'm going to be able to come into work. And he was like, listen, he's like, take care of him. I'll just give you a PTO day. Don't worry about it. He was like, just let me know if everything's okay, which was nice of him super nice (laughs) and he was like calm down it's okay He was like is he okay physically and I was like yeah and he was like well it's all right he was like don't don't worry about work worry about him don't worry about it we'll take care of it and I was like okay so that took a little weight off my shoulders because I was like I'm gonna have to miss work again because I just had a migraine a few weeks ago and miss work and I was like just I'm even talking about it and getting worked up like again all over again but what um, happened is what I want to know. Yeah, I was gonna get to um, that because I I'm I don't know that. <laughs> okay, so when I asked him what happened on the phone, he was like, "I don't know, I don't know what happened." And I'm like, "Well, honey, how do you not know what happened?" And he was like, "I don't know. It happened so fast. I don't even know what happened." Because you know, sometimes when you wreck, it's like that. You're like, "What mm-hmm. just happened?" You know? Because when I got in my wreck, I didn't know what happened either. So I was yeah, like, same. "Okay." So apparently, there was six cars total involved good lord so a car in the in front of everybody i guess had to stop or slam on brakes for something it was a domino effect so they all just rear-ended each other that's what happened to my car that's how my car is banged up in the front Mm -hmm. it was it was the car and then another car and then me and that first car stopped and they had to stop and i had to slam on brakes and yeah there went my car but d was in the middle so he got hit in the front and the back. Mm. So his car was looked the worst out of everybody's because he was like kind of towards the middle and the back. The guy who slammed on brakes didn't have no damage. He drove off. And the guy who rear ended D drove off. And then somebody else drove off. So when the cops actually got there, there was only three cars there that actually wanted to file a report. This is the stupidest thing. Since D rear ended the woman in front of him, he was put at fault because it's automatic at fault if you rear in somebody. And she got put at fault for the car she rear ended. So they were basically all at fault, except for the guy who caused the accident, yeah. who drove away, got off scot free. Nobody got his tag number. But now they're all at fault. So not only did we have a at fault accident going on our insurance, they gave him a $160 ticket for driving too fast for conditions. And two points off his license. So we're going to have a ticket and an at-fault accident on our insurance. And that's going to be not fun. No. At all. And I'll pay the car insurance. Now, I don't want to sound selfish. Like, I would rather have my husband over that car any day. Like, I don't, I don't give a shit about the car. Like, he's okay and that's all that matters to me. And... I just thank God that he wrapped his arms around him and protected him and made sure. Because that could have been really bad. Like, it doesn't sound bad, but if you know this particular highway that I'm talking about, like, it's so dangerous. And it could have been really bad. And he drove a BMW, so obviously that's, like, a higher-end car. And it's it's done. Like, it's smooshed. Smooshed like a can. And, um... We're pretty sure the insurance adjuster still has to come out and look at it, but I mean, I'm I would bet money that it's it's totaled. Yeah. 
So it's just like you can't get ahead. No. Like right when you think you okay. We're doing we something good. Out. We're building this yeah. house and yeah, we're about to go into a lot of debt, but this is a really great thing that's happening in my life. Then this happens. And you're just like, why me? What, why me? Yeah. I and then that. I felt so bad because Dee was like, I'm sorry. Like, I know you paid the car insurance. It's about to go up and it's my fault. And I was like, listen, I was like, I don't care about that. Like, you're here. And he ended up not going to work, obviously. He was like, look, I ain't going to be able to get there. <laughs> and um, I brought him home with me that night and he got to stay home. And I was just like, I couldn't get away from him. Like, it just scared me so bad. Like, I didn't want to leave him. Like, I didn't want to get up and go to the bathroom. Like, I was like, I, you need to be in my sight at all times and I'm not taking my eyes off of you and I'm walking you in this house and you can't go anywhere ever again <laughs> like, like it scared me so bad and it, it was traumatic when so it's traumatic it's the way you said it I'm sorry I said it, was just, it was so scary but it's but being like for real like for serious being for serious <laughs> being for serious like it makes when stuff like that happens you're like I need to appreciate all the people in my life more because yes. you really freaking never know Yes, like and I, really wasn't, never know. I wasn't even the one that wrecked. And then when I got in the car the next day, I was like, I need to be careful. Like, it wasn't even me. You know, anything can happen. And you always have to watch other people. And That's like when I got a new car after I had totaled, like, that other one. Mm -hmm. I was so scared to drive. Yeah. And it's that's scary. when um, we were going to college. I was having to drive, like, over yes. an hour yes. to get there. And I was, like, <laughs> yeah, barely going. My brand new car that I that I got after we got home from college got totaled in a parking lot when I wasn't even home at the apartment complex we used to live in. And I wasn't even there when it happened. And they just totaled the heck out of it. Slammed right into it. I and remember that. I only had a year left to pay on that car and it, it killed me. And then when I got that other brand new car, I was like, I was scared to drive it. I was like, even though there wasn't nothing I could have done about it, it was, it was still scary. But I'm just, I thank God I'm grateful that he's okay. Um, he went back to work the next night, and he's fine. He's well. He was sore for a few days after, you know, from, he said his back and his legs were sore. And I babied him like the little baby he is. And he's he is okay. So I, I thank God for that. Um, but that's just, you know, nothing to add to the freaking list of the crap in life he was about to say something <laughs> i was I, I decided not to curse it makes you think about things because it could have been so bad but for that split second that i'm assuming the worst i didn't i was in shock like you know what i mean I just... you just never know what's gonna happen in life like you really can't plan things out no i was just thinking about this in general like the other day Cause like you'd be looking at somebody, they got something good for it. Like you, so, things can be taken away from you so fast. Anything can be taken away from you so fast. Absolutely. So don't be jealous of anybody else. Yes. Because God giveth and God taketh away. Yes, He do. And He do. And I really need to giveth right now because <laughs> Sky Daddy <laughs> <laughs> give. And you can't say that about Jesus. I wasn't ready for that. What did you? I saw this girl on TikTok called God Sky Daddy. I didn't make that up. I seen this TikTok. She said, you didn't take that up with Sky Daddy? I was like, I love that. No, dude, I seen this TikTok and it was this girl and she was doing like, it was some kind of trend and she was doing it with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I noticed was like, man, he looked good. Like he was like six foot something. Like he was a good looking man. I said, I want to go look in these comments because I bet they're all about how hot her boyfriend is. Yeah. And this, the top comment was this girl, and she said, God, I've seen what you've done for others. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, me? That's hilarious. And she was a really pretty girl, too. Yeah. But it, she was like, God, I've seen what you've done for others and what you can't do. <laughs> I need a change in my life. I feel like the past year and a half have been the same, and nothing's changed. And they say nothing's going to change unless you do something. But I feel like... Some stuff just falls into other people's laps. And I'm like, how does it just fall into my lap? Like, can I just get a blessing? Yeah. Just throw me a bone. Throw me a bone, <laughs> Sky Daddy. <laughs> You're not going to pray to Sky Daddy. Dear Sky Daddy. I would like. 
so annoying. I would like for a new car to fall out of the sky. Oh, God. With these name on it. <laughs> Amen. With a bow. With a bow. <laughs> a red bow on top. I need a new car, too. I've been looking, but I did the numbers. I cannot afford a car payment. Like, yeah. if I had a car payment, I would be left with, like, zero dollars that I've made. Yeah. The cars the are getting just more expensive and more expensive. And they depreciate in value. Like, they don't... You don't really get equity in cars like you do yeah. a house. So, they just are expensive. And then their value depreciates. But, like, I would literally come away with barely making any for the month mm-hmm. if I had a car payment. Yeah. Like, that's how expensive it is. And the thing is... Since we're in the so, middle. I can't buy a car. I can't afford to live anywhere. It's how the world what is What am right I doing? Now. That's how the world is And people is right say now. this generation is lazy. And it's like, no, we're not lazy. We've just seen that it's impossible yeah. to be able to do anything. Without killing yourself. Without working three jobs. Yeah. And not having any time to have a life in your 20s. If you work three jobs, what's even the point mm-hmm. of making all the money? You can't do anything. Yeah, you might have extra money, but what are you going to do? I work with a girl, and she lives in an apartment with roommates while working three jobs. And she said she's barely even at home, and she can't even appreciate having a place because (laughs) she works so much. That's crazy. So, no, this generation is not lazy. Yeah. We've just seen that there is no way to live right now. Yeah. Like, there's really not. Like, even with me and Dave, we're a two-income household. It's it's still hard. And, I mean, we both have good jobs. Mm-hmm. Like, we both work in healthcare. That's job security. Like, that's a good job, people would say. Mm-hmm. Especially his job. And what do we got to show for it? I'm about to go into debt. Yeah. That's why I'm so stressed out. But even if we were to... If D was to pick up another car payment, which we're not, we couldn't. We're in the middle of a mortgage. You can't finance anything. You can't, like, go and finance in the middle of a mortgage. So, we don't even have that option. Yeah. So, I'm just praying to Sky Daddy that... (laughs) Sorry. I'm praying to God that we get more money for this car than what we thought... And he can just go get a used car and just drop it for the top end. That's what I was going to say. I mean, that's literally, literally our only option. He needs to get him a Nissan or a Honda. He's looking at Hondas. Something that is more affordable to fix because Mm -hmm. his car is so expensive. Like parts for that car. The other day he was like, I've never not have anything but a BMW. What am I going to do? And I said, well, that's too bad. My papa drives a BMW. (laughs) (laughs) My papa drives a Rolls (laughs) Royce. But he's, like, never owned anything but a BMW. And he was like, I'm going to feel so weird. And I was like, well, that's too damn bad. Get a Honda like the rest of us. <laughs> or a Toyota. Had, or a Nissan. Like, a good car. I've only had a Nissan. I had a 2004 Nissan. And then when I raked it, I got a 2014 Nissan. Yeah. I drove a Ford Focus. That was a piece of junk that I totaled. We loved that car, though. <laughs> oh, Hannah she- used to drive it. And when she didn't even have her license. And I didn't have her license. But we would drive it places. That's illegal. Yeah, we did it there. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we didn't go far. And then <laughs> once I destroyed that car and totaled it, um, my mama was like, "I'm not buying her a nice car because um, she just destroyed the last one." So then I drove a Saturn, big sexy Saturn. Um, that's what we called her. She was the ugliest car. Oh my god, that car was hideous, hideous. But I drove it my senior year of high school. And then once I actually learned how to drive a little bit better, which I'm still not a great driver. Um, I just can't drive. I got a Nissan Altima. I just, my mind doesn't, it, my mind wanders off and I'm just. Yeah. Like but I, my Nissan was like my first brand new car. Like. I've never had a brand new car. Yeah. And, and I had a year left to pay on it and then a kid smashed into it. So. Yeah. Literally, a child um, got in the driver's seat of his daddy's truck yeah. and thought he was going to go for a joyride. That's and literally what happened. slammed into my car. Um, and two other cars. So, God, could you imagine their insurance? <laughs> Not one, but three? Yeah, because our friend was like, out that lived at the apartment, was like, I think that's Hannah's car yeah. that just got hit. Yeah. He called, because he had my cell phone number, and he called me. He was like, um, you need to come home right now. Because I was like the pharmacy getting my medicine or something and he was like you need to come home now like I wasn't far and I'm thinking oh fender bender 
No. Destroyed. Gone. Ruined. I was like, D- were we in the Daytona 500? Like, how fast was he going from here to there? There was a little kid, and he slammed on the gas, and I mean, did you get, into my like, car. money and stuff? Like, it Oh, hell like, yeah. I would assume so. Hell yeah. That car only had, like, 60,000 miles on it. It was brand new when I bought it, and I was the only owner, and I only had a year left to pay on it. Yeah. They paid me good. And I wasn't going to, I was like, I'm not going to get another brand new car. I don't want that high of a car payment. But they ended up getting a brand new car because they have like a deal going on then where if your credit score was over like 700, you got zero interest. That's amazing. Like, you know how much interest adds up? Mm-hmm. And I ended up financing it for five years, but my car payment was like cut in half from what I was paying. So I did finance it for longer than I wanted to, but my car payment was literally cut in half. And it's a brand new car when it had zero miles on it. And that is the best car I've ever had. I've never had any issues out of that car. Uh, It's a 2021. I bought it brand new. And Mm -hmm. I mean, I know a new car is not going to have a lot of issues, but like that's my favorite car I've ever had. And I love that it's like a small SUV because I've always drove cars and I'm a short queen. So yeah. I like being able to see. That's, I want a bigger car because I you feel like I, love I feel like I'm car. sitting on the ground in my car. You know, like yeah. you have to kind of fall into. It. Yeah, <laughs> and I hate that. I recommend you get like a small SUV because I love my, mine's not like a. You yeah, know, I can't drive a big old thing. No, I can't. I don't either. know how to drive. I would hit everybody, <laughs> but it's how do like a drive tiny like little SUV. How do people drive buses and turns? Honey, them kids would be flown out the window. My house cool bus. I'd flip that thing over. Yeah, I would too. I've been so stressed at work lately. And just stressed in my life. Like, I feel like all I do is go to work. I, yeah. I see I see the people at work more than I see my family and my friends. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is every day. I mean, that's how it is for people. I get it. But yeah, when what I was talking about earlier, when you don't see, like, like you go to work and you pay your bills and that's it. Like, you don't see anything else coming in from that. You're yeah. Like, that's what... That's what's depressing. Wrong. Yeah, it's depressing. Yeah. And like I spend all my time at work and I'm like, I need to get out of here so bad. Like, that's yeah. what I said. I was trying to just go to the beach. I was going to go by myself and everything. I didn't tell my mom. I was like, I'm leaving. I just think I'm like so dead serious when I say this. Like, I just want to move to the beach. And even if I'm struggling, if I'm working as, as a waitress at the freaking beach, you know how much easier. They make good be? money over there. Do you know, Especially during tourist season. Just like my mental health. Yeah. Like, I would like to work at one of those little breakfast places that, you know, it, they do breakfast and they close at 2. Yeah. So, you know, like, you're off at yeah. 2, 3 o'clock. And they stay packed. And then waitresses make good money. But I'm just like, just imagine when you got off work and you came home that the beach was right down the road. Yeah, that sounds, like, amazing. Like, you could just go sit on the beach. Like, I feel like... Me and are going to retire at the beach. Health. So much. Yeah. You We've know? already decided because, you know, once my mom is... Dead and gone one day. I know, but, you know, we'll have somewhere to go. And um, I hope she lives to be 120. But still, um, by then, by the time me and Dee are getting older and we're retired, we talked about just the kids will be grown. We're talking about just living there. I just think, like, just not saying I wouldn't be depressed, but I would rather be depressed at the beach than here. Yeah. Like, I was just thinking how much better my mental health would be yeah. if I got home and I knew I could just go and sit on the beach. Yeah. Like, I feel that. The beach is my happy place. Like, that is my happy place. I just feel like all place. of my anxiety is just gone. Yeah. Just for a little bit. Well, I mean, we couldn't live there, live there, because we're going to have a house. So, we'll probably, like, live there during the summer and then, like, yeah, come home for, like, the holidays. But, like, during the summer, like, I mean, his family's literally in our backyard. So, just take the dog that we don't have yet that we're gonna have i can't wait to get a puppy i want a puppy so bad and lola's not gonna be a fan Mm-mm. but she she will learn to live with the puppy she's gonna assert her dominance so you know she'd be doing yeah she did be doing that and um but i think she'll i mean she'll eventually just get used to him being there she'll grow tired of maybe terrorizing him after a while no, me and Hannah had found this little baby cat, um, and, like, we literally couldn't keep her Ooh, because, so like, Hannah had just got Lola. Yeah. And then, like, she knew she was about to move in here. Yeah. And she was, I like. Could, there's nothing I could have done with her. Yeah, like, you t- asked Dee's dad, like, I 
I just got a cat. Like, yeah. Can she come? Yeah. Like we could, I couldn't have take, taken her. You couldn't have taken her. Yeah. But she was so baby and we like bottle fed her. And her mama left her. Her mama left her and she was crying. I mean, she was the sweetest, smallest little thing. We found her in a bush in the back of our apartment complex and she was like crying. And yeah. I brought her in the house and I bottle fed her. Well, we asked the neighbors if. Yeah, we walked around. We walked around and made sure it wasn't anybody's cat. But everyone's like, no, like, I've never seen the cat. It's not my cat. So, But this girl Hannah works with came and got the cat. But for all of the little bit that she was there, Lola just kept smacking her around. And she was literally the size of the palm of your hand, not even. Like, no kind of motherly instinct. She was just jealous Like, of she that couldn't baby. even eat. Like, she had to be bottle fed. Like, we had to bottle feed her every so many hours and nurse her to health. And Lola just smacking the shit out of her. And I'm like, Lola, like, what is she? She can't even hardly walk. Where's your motherly instincts at? She hated it. She, she doesn't have any. She's going to hate when you have a baby. Because you know she wants, how she likes to sit in your lap. You know, they say, though, that animals know when you're pregnant. And they can sense it. And, like, they grow, if they love you. And they're, you're, like, their person. That, that's a part of you. And then they grow to love the baby. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case. One last thing I'm going to say. And then we'll wrap it up. Um, I had this thought. And I want to know what you guys thought about it. You can leave it in the comments. Uh, I was talking to Brandy about it earlier. But uh, I've talked about it a little bit on here before. Um, I've been crocheting for a little over a year now. And it's kind of just a hot, like a self-taught hobby. Like I literally taught myself how to do it and by watching darn YouTube videos. And I've gotten pretty decent at it over the past year. I was looking for like a side hustle. Because, let's be honest, this is, this is a hobby. This is not a side hustle. We're not making any money off of this whatsoever. Yeah. This is literally just We have to pay fun. money to put this out here. We literally are investing in nothing, but that's not the point. Um, so, I need a side hustle. And that that is the only other thing I'm kind of talented at. So, if I was to sell these things that I crochet, would people buy them? And I'll show you, I'll go get it in a minute, but I'll show you something that I made. It's kind of like an example, but I thought about like posting on like my Facebook, like this is what I've made. This is what I can make. Like would anybody be interested in doing this? And then like when the winter time rolls around, I can make like beanies, scarves, like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any point in doing that right now because it's about to get hot. But I make like little stuffed animals, like crocheted and um, like it takes me days to do it and like. Would it be worth it? Like, could I charge enough to cover the materials that I use plus kind of make a little bit of a profit that was worth my time and labor? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, I'm going to show you something that I made. And you guys tell me what you think. But this is the only thing I have on hand right now. That I made this little cow. This is him. And I, I made him. And this is the first time I've made a cow like this. Like, out of this type of, like, it's like the soft fuzzy yarn. Like, the baby yarn I'm kind of. It. Oh. It's like a little baby yarn. And uh, this is the first time I've used it to make a cow. And I think it, it's decent for my first time. Um, this is him. I feel like that takes so much patience. It does. It took me about three days to do this. Oh, God. And I made this for a friend at work. And, like, all the stuff that I've made, I've gifted. Like, I made Brandy a sloth. And um, it, at first, like, I was kind of still learning and, like, I wasn't that great at it, but, like, I could put something together, and I was just, I love gift giving. Like, I love to give gifts, and I like to see people's reaction when I give them gifts, mm -hmm. and I was just making all of this stuff. Like, I've literally made probably hundreds of dollars worth of stuff, and I've just given it away just to give it away, and, like, I have some stuff that, like, I kept, like, during Christmas, I made a bunch of Christmas ornaments I gave to people, and then I kept some, and I have a little giraffe that I won't get him down, but I have a little giraffe. Giraffe's my favorite animal. I made one for myself, but literally that's like all that I've kept. Like I've gave everything away. And Dee was like, Hannah, like, why don't you sell this stuff? Like, you're really good. Like, why don't you just sell it? And I'm like, I don't know if I'm good enough to like, people would buy this. Have hey, you seen all those girls on Facebook that make earrings and make stuff? Like, that's true. Do that. That's true. So if you guys would be interested and in maybe, I don't know if you'd like this or, um, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram. She does other animals too. I do other animals. I can. I did a flamingo. I did an elephant. I've done more 
cows that don't look like this. I've Little done, bears. I did bears. I did a sloth for brandy. Um, I did a unicorn. Like, I've done a lot of stuff. And um, You did a unicorn? I did a unicorn. Mm-hmm. I gave it to my mama. She's got it. I made a bumblebee. So, like, I've done a lot of stuff. Um, But, yeah, this is just an example of what I make. And if you guys would be, like, interested in, I don't know, maybe, like, purchasing something, um, you can DM me on Instagram. I want a dragon. You want a dragon? Yeah. <laughs> just comment if you think that's a good idea, like a little side hustle for me. And maybe if you'd be interested and I don't know, like, find one. <laughs> Not me begging for money again. Not me begging for stuff. <laughs> You have to. You have to or you won't have anything. You yeah. just have to go for it. I'm I wish poor. I had a hobby like that. Um, I don't have any talents. All I do is read and watch TV. But I literally I just everything taught about myself. Everything, so. I, I literally just watched YouTube videos and taught myself how to do it. it seems like a lot of time. It, it did take a lot of time. And, I mean, it takes a lot of time to make them. So, like, I want to charge what my time was worth, you know? But, like, I don't want to overcharge people. Materials for that is a lot, too. Like, that's a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I've spent hundreds of dollars in, like, stuff that I've made for people. And I've just given it away. And he was like, you really should be selling this stuff. I don't know. Man, I'm thinking about it. I don't want to do an Etsy shop. That seems like a commitment. Like, that seems like a lot to keep up with Mm. i would rather just be like hey this is what i can make dm me if you want something like this and i can make it or ask me if i can make something and i'll I'll try or whatever so Mm. but yeah let me know what you guys think comment below i want to do i think it'd be cool well i want one of those things where you can make a design to put on t-shirts because i'd like to design t-shirts to sell these people in this town are making so much money for that Mm -hmm. i mean we get shirts made at work all the time for, like, little, like, dialysis shirts for, like, stuff. And, mm-hmm. I mean, I paid $14 for the last one I got. That's $14. Like, I feel like I could come up with cool designs and cool little slogans and stuff mm-hmm. for, like, shirts. Like, I feel like I could do that. You can that. make us shirts with our uh, not-so-serious podcast logo not on so it. Not-so-serious pod. I did design a logo. I I do... I also do graphic design kind of in a way sometimes, but that's what I'm did. saying. Like we could do yeah. some designs to put on t-shirts. Like I wish yeah. I had that machine that can make t-shirts because yeah. I know we could come up with some good ones. And like some Get on the ones. auction. Yeah. Get on the Mac bid. I've seen some on there. Just saying. If you made it this far, like always, drop a comment and let us know if you listened to the whole episode. I don't think anyone did, but if you did, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, like and subscribe and write us five stars on Spotify if you don't want to watch all the time we're also on spotify and apple podcast and um the link tree is in our bio for instagram and tiktok and all that if you guys want to see everything again the registry and all of our links to everything and we're going to be adding our amazon storefronts in there soon so be on the lookout for that as well and y'all see what we talk about and what we like if you want to know more about anything just let us know mm-hmm. and yeah we have a trip coming up soon that we're excited about yes and That'll be fun. I think I'm going to vlog it. I think I'm going to vlog it for my personal channel. I think I'm going to TikTok vlog it. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So, content coming. So, um, one day. One day. But anyways, um, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.